Alrighty tidy, I got some fucking updates as to the spectacles of stupidity I talked about yesterday. Found out a little bit more information as to the sped that got her account hacked, her Instagram account hacked and had her tit pics posted all over the goddamn place yesterday. Uh, turns out Benson the Redneck the hillbilly that has a, uh, a history of fucking with our girl Marissa. That's the retard that had her account hacked and stuff. Uh, turns out he's not the our culprit per se. It turns out it was actually uh, two people responsible for it. One of which was a girl by the name of uh, Playgirl Hannah. I believe that's uh, her name. I can't remember for the life of me, but anyway. According to uh, Marissa's Instagram story, when she was hacked still, if you wanted to get the uncensored picture of Marissa's boobs, you would have to hit our girl Playgirl up. And it turns out there was another person, a man by the name of 32 Blunts, who actually has a history of hacking into retards Instagram accounts. And later on that day, a woman by the name of Michaela said that she had enough and she was going to tell those goddamn internet jerks that she better back off. She was going to rain down the thunder. But later on that night, Marissa got her account back. One of the first things Marissa did was she went live on Instagram to give everyone a nice little update. Let everyone know that she was back. Marissa was pretty chill about getting hacked and having her tit pics leaked. And it was during that fucking live stream I found out a little something special about Mr. 32 Blunts. Because as it turns out, Mr. 32 Blunts and Marissa used to be in a relationship. Now keep in mind, Mr. 32 Blunts never showed his face. And Marissa doesn't even know where he lives. So we can forget about Marissa calling up the police and filing revenge porn charges on Mr. 32 Blunts. And as it turns out, shocker, 32 Blunts never really gave a damn about Marissa. Mainly because he had to fucking pressure the ever living shit out of Marissa. Get those booby pics from her. It's safe to say now, Marissa has her account back. And she also has an alt account ready to go, just in case something like this would happen again. And now that that's over with, I know I talked about uh, the magical tale of the 21 year old New Zealand crybaby pedo. That got cucked by a t by that got cucked by a girl in a wheelchair. I'm sure you all remember the 12 year old's dad was not very happy. That this sweet little girl was dating a, a 21 year old New Zealand man, and has made TikTok videos exposing him. Now our sad little pedophile, he was not too happy. What was his response to getting exposed? Well, he decides he's gonna hit up the he's gonna hit up his twelve year old ex and threaten to rape her no less. I also found out that while our special little boy was dating the twelve year old, he was supposedly I cannot confirm or deny this, but was supposedly dating the twelve year old's nineteen year old big sister. Later on that night, I discovered our special little boy made a fucking post on Instagram. Saying how he and his 12 year old waifu are back together. When you scroll down, you can see our little 12 year old girl still loves him. Saying shit like, I will never leave you, baby. But meanwhile, when you click on her fucking profile, will clearly see that it says I am happily taken 
by the girl still in the wheelchair. If you actually check out her fucking TikTok videos, granted, they're, the account in question is private, but if you actually go to her fucking profile, you will clearly see some little videos involving our boy. One of which uh, includes a song simply entitled Simp. So I got no fucking clue what's really going on anymore. Is she still dating the crybaby pedophile? Is she really dating the fucking girl in the wheelchair while she's simultaneously dating the pedophile? I wish I could tell you. But even I don't know what the fuck is going on anymore. After doing some more research, I found a, a woman by the name of Robin. Was not too happy about the 12 year old's father exposing our little crybaby pedo friend. He was basically threatening to call the cops on everyone if they keep calling our 21 year old crybaby pedo a pedo. Now, I don't know if Robin has the fucking balls to send law enforcement after everyone was making fun of our New Zealand child molester. I'm sure that fucking list is long. It's only a matter of time before one of these idiots discovers me. The fact that I've been talking about it. Maybe I'll be next to be fucking thrown in jail. For calling a 21-year-old New Zealand pedophile a pedophile. I guess we'll have to wait and see. Nothing of any interest has happened so far. But the day is still young. So who knows what's going to happen next. So you're going to have to stay tuned. As we continue our deep dive into the tale of the 21-year-old New Zealand pedophile. Who got cucked by a girl in a wheelchair.